Good morning, Mark Soderberg with ADM Investor Services with your morning ag outlook for Wednesday, October 16th. Well, uh, a mixed trade here overnight, mostly higher actually in the uh, agricultural space. Corn right now, one to two better. Soybean prices, six to seven better. Near session highs. Uh, meal is uh, about a buck better with uh, bean oil up uh, 30 to 40 points. Uh, steady to uh, slightly lower here in the wheat. Speculative traders were active sellers uh, yesterday in the agriculture cultural space selling about 19,000 corn, 6,000 beans, 2,000 wheat, and about uh, 6,000 contracts in the meal. They were net buyers of about 6,000 bean oil, however. Uh, so another big jump in open interest in both corn and soybeans as farmers selling. And now I think it's probably some fresh money coming in, speculative money coming in on the short side. Uh, the market just uh, kind of overwhelming scale down buying for now. <clears throat> Spot crude oil uh, is settling here uh, just above the 70 dollars price level well below last uh, week's highs uh, as uh, Israel has implied they would not be attacking Iranian uh, oil or gas facilities. U.S. harvest uh, jumped 17 percent last week to 47 percent. From what I can see it's the uh, most advanced harvest now since 2012. That 17 percent jump uh, applied to the USDA production estimates would imply about uh, 2.6 billion bushels of corn harvested last week amongst the highest volume ever. Crop ratings were steady at 64%, good, excellent. Bean harvest jumped 20% to 67% done. Uh, also the fastest pace now uh, from what I see in seven years. Um, <clears throat> just over uh, 900 million bushels of beans were harvested by farmers last week. Winter wheat, har uh, winter wheat plantings advanced 13% to 64%, just slightly below a year ago and the five-year average. Yesterday's NOPA crush showed NOPA members processed just over 177 million bushels of beans last month, above expectations of about 170 and well above the 158 that were crushed in August. This would imply total crush uh, for the industry at 188 million bushels, a record high for September. Uh, despite the strong crush levels being oil stocks, they dropped for a sixth consecutive month to 1 billion 66 um, uh, million pounds uh, below expectations. Uh, rains just continue to spread over uh, much of the central growing regions of Brazil here, really looking out here for the next couple of weeks, helping replenish soil moisture uh, after months of drought. Here in the U.S., some light rains in the Great Lakes region and eastern Corn Belt produced only just very modest harvest delays with the rest of the country really experiencing near ideal conditions. Uh, some much needed rain is expected, however, to fill in in the southern plains here by the end of this week. Uh, corn prices, they've rebounded a penny or two now, still holding above the $4 level here for the December contract, really just looking for some better uh, demand opportunities. Uh, bean prices rebounded on uh, ideas that China uh, is pretty active buying U.S. beans here on this recent price break. We'll be watching the news wire to see if any announced sales at 8 a.m. U.S. beans are priced below South American origin by 10 to 15 dollars through November and then really should dominate global trade into the early part of next year. We've seen a big rebound here in this Novjan spread as well up to uh, about 11 cents after trading as wide as 19 cents. We've got the index funds largely out of November now and looks like the spread is going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting to keep the pipeline full here as sales uh, start to pick up uh, which they typically do uh, this time of the uh, seasonally. Um, so lately, uh, slightly lower trade here in the bean, uh, wheat market here overnight. Uh, seeing wire services report Russian Grain Union. They are starting to suggest they have a consensus indicator price uh, for their wheat exports uh, set at about $240 metric ton for October and then jumping five bucks to 245 in November and 250 by December. We'll see if that holds up in their uh, next uh, offering. So uh, thank you very much for listening, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day.